This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. Union Minority Affairs Ministry has focused on educational empowerment of minorities and job-oriented skill development of youths belonging to minority communities. Development with dignity has been the goal of the ministry. This year has been marked by several initiatives for welfare of minority communities. More than 80 lakh students from minority communities have been sanctioned pre-matric, post-matric, merit come means and other scholarships in first six months of NDA government too. These students include 60% girls. The Assam cabinet has decided to request the centre to make Assamese as the state language. Talking to newspersons in Guwahati after the meeting, cabinet meeting, senior minister Himanta Biswasarma said the Assam government will request the centre to amend the Article 345 of the Constitution to make Assamese as the state language except in the Bodo Territorial Autonomous District, Barak Valley and Hill Districts, where Assamese will be the associate language. The State Cabinet also decided to bring a new law in the next Assembly session to secure land rights for the indigenous people. As per the new law, only indigenous people can sell or buy land from another indigenous citizen. The minister said that three new autonomous councils to be set up in the state for Koch Rajbongshi, Moran and Matak communities. The cabinet also decided to request the center to conclude the Bodo Peace Accord at the earliest. In Meghalaya, a total of 196 trainees from the northeast took the oath during the Dikshant parade held at the Northeastern Police Academy, Umyam, in Reboy district. The 46th basic course comprises 14 deputy SPs from Nagaland, 169 sub-inspectors of which 114 from Meghalaya, 21 from Nagaland, 20 from Manipur, 13 from Mizoram, 1 from Tripura. The deputy SPs trainees had also undergone a week-long training in police leadership and strategic management, foreign attachment with SPCS Consultancy Private Limited Singapore. While the SI and ASI trainees were attached with the Assam Rifles and BSF, the oath was administered by Director Nepa Kala Ramachandra. Addressing the parade, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma said that police in the Northeast have a special role to play compared to the police in the rest of the country. He said that the challenges are multiple as the Northeastern states share a border with another country and many of the inimical and criminal elements take advantage of cross-border and international linkages to escape the law. In Meghalaya, the district magistrate East Kasi Hills district has issued an order under section 144 CRPC lifting the curfew imposed in all the curfew bound areas notified under Lungling Jure police station and Sadar police station and their respective outposts and beat houses with effect from 4 a.m. today. The Mizoram government has banned firecrackers and other pyrotechnic materials in view of Christmas and New Year celebrations. The ban, which is a common practice in the state, is to ensure peace and tranquility and to observe the sanctity of the greatest Christian festival. A top police official said prohibitory orders in this regard were issued by all district magistrates. The orders banned import and selling of firecrackers and other pyrotechnic materials during festive season. The ban is valid for two months from the date of issue of the orders and any violators are liable to be punished as per law, the official said. The primary purpose is to enable people to celebrate Christmas and New Year under peaceful environment and pollution-free. Security has also been beefed up in the state in view of Christmas and New Year celebrations. The security forces arrested eight cadres of proscribed militant outfit People's Liberation Army from different places of Manipur, police said. One woman cadre of PLA was arrested by police from a house in Kakching area. Based on the information provided by her, the police arrested five more PLA cadres, including two women from different parts of Manipur. Two more PLA cadres were also arrested by Assam Rifles, one from Kuman Lampak area and another from Pishum Thong area in Manipur's Imphal West district. Earlier on December 16th, the security forces arrested a woman cadre of the proscribed militant outfit Kangle Yawul Kangba Lop engaged in extortion in Kakching district, police said. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.